Section 1. You will hear a conversation between Peter and Jim talking about some details for their shared accommodation. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 4. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hey Jim, it's Peter. Oh hey Peter, what's up? I thought I'd call so we could hammer out the details for next year's lease. Peter says that he wants to hammer out the details for next year's lease with Jim. So. Lease has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Hey Jim, it's Peter. Oh hey Peter, what's up? I thought I'd call so we could hammer out the details for next year's lease. That's a good idea. Did we ever decide on how to split the total rent? Well, I was thinking, since my room is bigger, I probably should pay a little more. So I could pay £110 and you could pay £80. Does that sound OK? Considering that my old apartment cost me £100 for a smaller room, I'm definitely all right with that. Hey, I was looking at a map of the area and can't seem to find a bus stop near it. Do you know where we would catch the bus? Well, the bus is actually pretty far from us. But we have that garage that we can park our cars in. Wow, that's great. Convenient parking is hard to find, so we're lucky we have that. OK, so we have a whole lot of things we'll need to buy when we move in. How do you want to split that up? I was wondering, do you still work at the supermarket? Yep, every Tuesday and Saturday. Would you be able to buy things from there if I sent you a shopping list? Sure, I can do that. Great. Then I can take care of whatever else we need that you wouldn't get at a supermarket. If you want, I'll pick you up from work that day and we can go to the apartment together. Oh, that would be great. Thanks. No problem. That way we can split the cost of petrol. Works for me. It's so expensive these days, isn't it? It's downright obscene. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. So let's figure out what appliances we need. Do we have a microwave? Yes, the landlord's providing that for us. Hey, do you still have that space heater, though? We need one for the kitchen since it's not connected to the central heating. All right, I'll bring that. Anything else? Well, I have some dining room and living room furniture I can bring, so that should take care of most of the big stuff. You know what we do need, though? Could you bring a toaster? I actually don't have one. It doesn't come with the microwave. No, the landlord is only supplying the microwave. It would really help if you could bring one. OK, I'll pick one up at the store. You know, I also have this cool antique rotary phone that would be a cool addition to the apartment, sort of as decoration and utility. Oh, cool. The only thing is, we'd have to put it in the kitchen unless you want it in your room. Why not put it in the living room? The living room's too loud to have a phone conversation. The noise sort of carries. So if one person is trying to watch TV or have friends over, the person on the phone won't be able to hear. Hmm. OK, well, I guess kitchen it is then. Any other big things we need? That seems like everything. That's all I can think of. And, of course, move-in is 
June the 1st. I can't wait. We'll be able to watch the big game in our new apartment. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, we can move in in the morning and then Friday night we can sit back and cheer on Liverpool. I have an exam in the morning, but we'll be done around 11am and can move in after. Wait, Liverpool? You're joking, right? I thought you were a Manchester United fan. Man U? No way. Liverpool all the way. Oh no, I, I don't know if I can live with a Liverpool fan. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 2.